the reality principle, which, which generalizes the item potence property of mathematics to reality as a whole. So reality, the real universe, contains only in that which is real. The reality concept is analytically self-contained and self-composed. If there was something outside reality that were real enough to affect or influence reality, then it would have to be inside reality by virtue of a kind of self-isomorphism. And this contradiction invalidates any supposition of an external reality up to observation or theoretical relevance. Now, while this characterization of reality incorporates a circular definition of relevance, the circularity is essential to the reality concept and does not, excuse me, preclude a perceptual basis. Indeed, we can refine the definition of reality as follows. Reality is the perceptual aggregate, including one, all scientific observations that ever were and ever will be, and two, more importantly, the entire abstract and or cognitive explanatory infrastructure of perception, where the abstract is a syntactic generaliza generalization of the concrete, standing for ideas, concepts, and cognitive structures distributing over physical instances, finitary instances, which conform to them as, syntax as content conforms to syntax. Right, so physical instances conform to cognitive infrastructure as content, as semantic content conforms to invariant syntax, meaning that we have to have a self-generative syntax which allows for the internal refinement and self-substitution of different contents. This naturalizes mathematical metaphysics and says that all of science is untouched yet shown to be vastly incomplete without a processing slash programming domain which is non-terminal with respect to any terminal expression or observation or theorization of science because terminal means finitary, non-terminal means infinitary. So you unite those by unitarity which we identify on the quantum level but that has to be extended vastly.